in this video i'll be talking about eulet function that it is a multiplicative function so uh, let's see the proof but before proof let me to also write one lemma that will be requiring for the proof of this uh, theorem so what is the lemma here lemma says that if we have three integers so if we have been given integers a b c d in a such a way that the gcd of a and b c is 1 so this will hold if and only if gcd of ab is equal to 1 and gcd of a and c is equal to 1 so we want to prove this holds if this holds and the same we can prove the converse so let's prove this lemma first before we apply before we solve that uh, Euler is a multiplicative function so i'll first take this part so i'll take uh, given is gcd of a comma bc is equal to one and i want to prove the other way now and let let me to take d as the gcd of a comma b okay now because d is the gcd of a comma b and we wanted that d should come out to be one this is the proof so by this when we consider d as gcd of a comma b d divides a and d divides b now because d divides b so this implies d divide bc also it divides every multiple of b this implies d divides a and d divides bc so when d divides a and d divides bc this means gcd of a and bc must be greater than or equal to do either it is d or it is greater than because it is gcd greatest common divisor but from one okay but from one we know that the gcd of a comma bc is one so that implies d has to be one and similarly we can take the other way around similarly uh, let some quantity we can take now d dash which is the gcd of a and c that means d divides a and d divides c and then again we can take d divides a and now d divide bc take the multiple of c this again gives me the fact that the gcd of a and bc is greater than or equal to sorry this whole is d dash it's not d and this again now from one from one we know from one gcd of a comma bc is equal to one so this forces us the d dash is equal to one so in both circumstances so this way the result is proof so this way the result is proof now let's do the proof converse wise okay so when we do the proof converse wise so what is given given now is that the gcd of a and b is one and also the gcd of a and c is one so this is given and we want to prove is to prove that gcd of a comma bc is equal to one okay now if you want to prove this gcd of a and b so let's take it as some quantity d so let's take gc a, a comma bc as some quantity as d now this means that d divides a and so d divides a and d divide bc and d is here any divisor and of course we know that this d must have a prime divisor also d is any divisor so either d itself is a prime or so either d is prime that divisor itself is a prime or there exists some prime uh, such that p divides d so that's what we we consider here so this implies that p divides d this implies p divides a and p divides b c okay so when we say that p divides bc and from here we can because it is a prime we can apply euclid's lemma Eu euclid's lemma so what does the euclid lemma says uh, that if p divides a b this and the gcd of a comma b is equal to one this implies that p divides a and b so i'm not going to write uh, here this uh, let me to write here with some different color so that there is no confusion about these a b c's okay so here what i want to do is i want to apply the euclid's lemma so here apply euclid's lemma and what is that euclid's lemma if p divides some quantity um let me to take this quantity as mn 
and if the gcd of mn is 1 this implies p divides m or p divides n okay so that's fine now and now in this case this implies p divides a p divides b or p divides b so this means p divides a p divides b either this will hold or we will have p divides a and p divides c so this will hold now this implies that the gcd of a comma b is greater than or equal to p or this implies that gcd of a comma c is greater than or equal to p but this contradicts but this contradicts the given condition but this contradicts star but this contradicts star because you know that p is as p is greater than 1 it's a prime number so the assumption so the assumption so uh so gcd of a comma bc is equal to 1 so that proves that this assumption which is delta so delta force gcd of a comma b is equal to 1 so now i'm going to use this lemma for proving that phi, phi is a multiplicative function